Hey there Geeks and Geekettes, I'm the Bearded Geek. I haven't done this for a while, but we've got a whole video for you. So I've got a, I've got a bunch of stuff to show. Um, some of it from stores, some of it is from Zavi. Um, I ordered a 10 t-shirt bundle that hasn't arrived yet, but there was a free... Um, a free past Z box. And I'm not going to unbox the video and do all that sort of unboxing for a box that you've probably already seen. So I'll just sort of flick through those items, including the t shirt. So there's a t shirt, Lord of the Rings. It looks glow in the dark, but sadly it's not. But it's a really cool t shirt. It's a really nice material as well. I also got a Batman Funko Pop, number one. Um, I don't actually own a Batman pop, despite being a massive Batman fan. So there's the other products. I do want that Joker. So that was uh, obviously well received. I'm obviously not going to unbox because this is an older box. Um, then I got a Loot Crate exclusive half scale endoskull from Terminator Genesis because somebody couldn't spell Genesis properly. I don't know if that was supposed to be edgy, but it's a bit poo, really, wasn't it? Now, I'm going to unbox this because it's Loot Crate exclusive, and I don't think Loot Crate exclusives are worth anything because they're exclusive to B&M, Home Bargains, Pound Shops, other mystery boxes. But that is a really cool skull. I do love the first two Terminator films. Everything else after was a bit rubbish. And the new one, it just doesn't look any good to me. I'm going to watch it and hopefully they can pull something out of the bag with it. Um, was there something else? Yep, yeah. there was also a Harry Potter colour changing mug. So it starts off the black. He who must not be named. You put hot water in. Voldemort appears with sort of speech marks there and the cup turns white. Now, I said it before, I've never actually seen the Harry Potter films properly. I've watched little bits of them. I want to watch them. I've just never got around to it. Comment down below if I should watch them. So uh, this will be going to the Tally Monster. That's, uh, that's my stepdaughter because she absolutely loves Harry Potter. She's read the books. She still reads the books. She finishes them and then goes back and starts again. Um, next up is something that I picked up for Mrs. Geek. Well, the next three items I picked up for Mrs. Geek. I would love to get this out and review it, but it's not mine. But, yep, it is Jim Henson's Labyrinth by McFarlane Toys. Dance Magic Dance Jareth. Complete with Goblin and a sort of riding crop type thing. I picked the last one up for Mrs. Geek. The McFarlane toys Jareth in the in the ball outfit. So she was really excited for this. It was supposed to be for a birthday in October, but I got too excited when it got delivered. Uh, next up is to go with her Ghostbusters collection. Oh, there's another one as well. Managed to get her Egan Spengler metal diecast figure. She already has Vakeman. And the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And I picked that up Winston Zedemore. So I've only got this two pack to collect for her and Ray Stance, and she's got that entire collection. Also from Ghostbusters, of this she loved, I got her the Library Ghost. So this is a Diamond Select Ghostbusters Library Ghost. Now we've seen. We've seen these in a few shops, but they were really expensive. I found this online, and it was a bargain. And uh, what we didn't realise was, I don't know if you can see in there, there's a statue of the demon dog, or the terror dog. Basically, it's part of a builder figure set. I mean, instead of a f uh, figure that you build, you actually build the final sort of scene on top of the tower from the first Ghostbusters movie. So... We're probably going to end up collecting and building that. 
Final item I picked up was in Tesco, and it's this Captain Marvel Special Edition Glow in the Dark Funko Pop. I've already got a Captain Marvel Funko Pop. Um, it's Captain Marvel in a brown leather jacket. Mrs. Geek picked that up for me a while ago. But I found this Glow in the Dark Special Edition. I don't own any Glow in the Dark Pops, so welcome addition to the little Marvel section I've got going on. So, guys, that was a. Uh, my little haul, or our little haul, because half of this belongs to Mrs. Geek. Uh, that definitely being the coolest thing in there. So thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help me to grow the channel. I've got some more book reviews coming up on behalf of Mass Movement Magazine. Um, I should have some other stuff to sort of unbox and review coming soon as well. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.